Hey you guys, Lacey and Steve from Duo Reacts. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. Better call so <laughs> It sounded like you were gonna forget the name of the <laughs> Nope, nope, I had Better a call. I had a plan. Okay. Um, I had a plan. Uh, the episode's called Nippy. It's a little a little bit nippy in here. Season six, episode ten, better call Saul. Wow. So much. So much has happened. Kim is gone. She's like, nah, bro, this is too much for me. Mm -hmm. um, probably for the best, to be honest. Um, get your ass out of here because Jimmy's getting himself into some deeper and deeper shit constantly. But yeah, I'm excited for season six, episode 10. We only have four episodes left. So. Yeah, I, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, this is a 51 minute episode, so basically an hour long after we get done talking and and uh, going over it. But I really like seeing this side of Jimmy. It really shows the the plethora of ability. His ability to uh, act, yeah, definitely is is incredible to me. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, just you know, I would have loved to see the behind the scenes capturing of, of some of the you know these seasons and just see how you know I, I don't know maybe that's just the 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 kind of the nerdy part of me that I would love to see the off scene shootings of this and how they went about making behind this. the scenes yeah stuff. yeah okay yeah well I'm sure they probably have some of that somewhere it was all <laughs> caught in here it was I just all couldn't caught you couldn't get it out yeah that's yeah. all right well are you ready to get into the episode yes all right let's do it Stephen Lacey Lacey and Steve Wrong. What's up with this shirt? It says, I love my husband, but sometimes I want to square up. You choose violence? Sometimes I choose violence. Not all the time, not frequently. Sometimes I choose violence. Guys, keep this in case something happens to me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Huh. Guess you won't be getting away with it. I won't be getting away with it anytime soon. Now. My violent tendencies. <laughs> Mustache. Is this guy a cop? Give you a hand? If I needed a hand, I'd ask for it. Thank you very much. Wow. Okay. It's just the pipe thing. He's just trying to help, but yeah. So this is in black and white. So yeah, this is what? in the future, right? This is in Jimmy's future. Not a pound and a half. He overshot last time. Oh, sorry about that. Here? <laughs> you gave me more than I asked for. Extra shirt. Free samples. Ooh. Well, she don't like that. Yeah, you keep the Packers, too. I mean, I'll take some of the cheese. I love Wisconsin cheese. Oh, amazing. I do like Wisconsin. Uh, there's a oh, bad, I like Wisconsin. There is a bad armpit somewhere in there called the Packers land. <laughs> Other than that, Wisconsin's pretty cool. It's like an extension oh, of no, Illinois, she's you know? Stuck. Oh, no, she's stuck. Oh, no. How are you going to get up? Up the walk. My name is Nippy. Have you seen me? Nippy. Okay. Name of the episode. Help? Okay. There's Jimmy. I was driving with the windows open, you know, before all this hit. And I don't know, something got into him. Maybe he saw a cat or something, but he jumped. I hope you find him. Do you keep an eye out? Yeah, well, this, right. this is a this is a con. It is. This is 100% a 100% a con. Always a reason. There's a reason. He set this up for this meeting, is what I'm thinking. Maybe just a little push. Oh, let's see. Sure you don't mind? She's not, lady, she's not one to accept help Most people easily. have empathy, lady, and and would love to, you know, but, yeah, like, but, not love, but help you out. They're so. definitely making her personality a certain way. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And there was the reason right there. He cut something. A brake line. I don't know. He cut some kind of line. Hope you find Nippy. Yeah, Nippy, your non existent dog. How you doing, Marion? What is he doing? He's he's got a plan. She, yeah, she's in she doesn't accept help. Right. So that tells me that she's a very guarded person. Very um maybe it could be do something what? I don't know what's happening. Is this, did my computer glitch out on my TV? What happened there? I don't know where I was going with that, but anyway. We've lost uh, our train of thought because of the yeah. the blue loading screen. Maybe that was on purpose to do that. <laughs> I, maybe it was. Like, hey, knock it off. Quit thinking, quit thinking, about, quit it. thinking about it too much. 
you'll you'll figure it out. <laughs> you'll but, get you'll get around. Which to I it. wouldn't. They don't know me. It's still bl in black and white too. Is this whole <coughs> episode going to be in black and white? What's that saying, Nebraska? Nebraska. 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 Is that an old Ford Crown Vic? Omaha. Okay, this is Omaha. So yeah. Okay. Wait a minute. Did I just see a name, Car Carol Bern Burnett? Oh, I was maybe not paying that wrong. close attention. She's dead. Okay, this is the his mom, maybe? This guy's mom? And Jimmy's here mom? having dinner. This is Mr. Takovic. Oh, please. Mr. Takovic was my father. He knows Call him. me Jean. Jean. Don't worry, honey. He's uh -huh. not to be fair, he looks her. like a Jean kind of right there. 100%. What? I'm sorry. I well, stop. Stop. What? What'd you say? I was just joke. I just made a joke and said he hundred percent looks like a gene right there. Like he looks. That like was a, a gene. joke. Well, it wasn't really a joke. I guess it wasn't funny. You stick to the smart stuff. I'll stick okay. to the Okay. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> no. Um. Maybe that's why I, I was trying. No. The reason I was focusing in, in on this, I'm looking at how he's looking at Jimmy, mm -hmm. and he obviously has recognized him. Like. There's something up, like maybe they're both like hiding or doing whatever the hell they're doing. I don't know, but they know he each other. He definitely knows. They definitely yes, know does. each other. Yeah. And he worked it out to get inside his mom's house to show him how to get to you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, Figuring it out, guys. Figuring it out. Oh, is that Carol Burnett? That old lady? Is That's it? Carol Burnett. Oh my God! Stop! <laughs> I'm so sorry. I, to be I fair, you know, I didn't recognize her at first I, either. To be I wasn't fair. liking her, and, and I did not recognize her. And I saw the name go across the screen when they were they were doing the thing. And, and she was like, when I was a kid, one of my favorite like comedians. Like I recognized her. She's, but she's such a uh, hilarious individual. Okay. Yeah, I'll show you some things of Carol um, later. But yeah, that that was more when I was a kid. Kid. And I remember she was on late night, some kind of comedy show, the Carol Burnett show. I've heard of that. And they would do little skits, kind of like maybe, uh, uh, I'll show you. I'll okay. show you. But check it out. You know, you, she's she's a legend. Okay. She, she really is. I, I definitely recognize her now, now that I'm like aware. Along the lines her. of, yeah. you know, my older folks out here, John Peel to you. Carol Burnett, you know, you had the Benny Hill show. And, and all the younger people out there who's like, who's Carol Burnett? I'm like. I know of her. <laughs> I know what she looks like. I think there's a few that would I, I've know. probably seen her in some things, but, but I, yeah. But yeah, the, the yeah. Let's yeah, go ahead. Let's go. Anyway, I like to do that every once in a while. Son of a bitch. Guess we're having lunch together. Come on. Oh, she's a sweet lady. Well, now that she let and her now, guard down. Yeah, and now so, old Jeffy is going to be pissed at mom. Told me you're a, the Red Rocker, hey, I love him. Hey, I can't drive. 55. <laughs> Look at that. Meatloaf? Look at that. Oh, I love a good meatloaf. A good meatloaf. Gene stay for dinner. You're going to like me one way or another. I hope, I hope Gene is like secretly like yeah. trying to hook up with Jeffy's mom. And he's like, I'll, I'm going to be your new stepdad, Jeffy. Here goes, here goes the conversation. <laughs> But you don't have to call me that. Yet. Yes, Moses. 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 Yes, Jeffy. Jeffy doesn't have it in him, sign. sorry. <laughs> I can make it happen. He can turn you into a Walter White. No, Jeffy, you are not a Walter White. You? So here's the deal. I will show you the game, and then we're done. I'm in. Very well. It's everything he's wanted to they, hear. But, but what's their correlation? What, I don't do know. They... Is That might be something that we are forgetting, yeah. maybe. We're going to find out what his expertise yeah, but... is or whatever. It might be. It's got hidden in a, like a register then or something. A ring. Probably his wedding ring. Just remembering back. Maybe that's his thinking ring. His thinking ring? I mean, you gotta make money Isn't this somehow, how we right? started the series? 
Yeah, he's he's working at Cinnabon in Omaha, Nebraska. In yeah. The events. Oh yeah, I remember. Like, but yeah. it's, it feels like so long ago. Yeah, because we only get to see bits and pieces. Like every season, we only get to see like a couple moments. He locked himself out. Da 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 da. Yeah. Yeah. Spoiler alert. Was no, Jeffy? Was Jeffy? I'm gonna have to go back and watch the black and white scenes because I'm forgetting some of them. Okay. Show the clock for a reason. Mm -hmm. Is this where he's gonna be? We're gonna be. No. Is there a problem? No, I, I just came to say thanks. Uh, I'm Gene from Cinnabon. Uh, you called the EMTs for me when I fainted. Yeah, I remember you. Get a lawyer! <laughs> Sorry about the lawyer thing. I just slipped out. Free country? Oh, wow. This fucking guy. Let's take his mall security <laughs> job really <laughs> serious, He's taking dude. it very seriously. <laughs> Enjoy yourselves. Well, 945. Nick, you want to grab yours as well? Sure. He's got to check the lock. Uh, you want to take a load off? Grab yourself a cup of coffee if you'd like. I should not be doing this. Doing what? Letting him hang out in here? Probably not. Or eating the Cinnabon. The cinnamon roll. Do me a favor. If you were ever to cross paths with my wife. Yeah, he's oh, not. Okay. It's Did you poison the cinnamon? That's what, I'm what is happening? You're eating it with a fork and knife, sir? Mm. 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 Mm -mm -mm. All right. The game. What the hell is wrong with this guy? He did something. Yes, so, he yeah, did. Yes, he did. He did. Then you haven't done it. He He's going to eat the entire yeah. thing. We'll yeah. almost. Ah, it's a tough one. It's no a last way. bite, probably. The cougar helmet was the thumb breaker. <laughs> Delicious cinnamon bun. Well, Three minutes and 12 seconds is how long it took what him to eat it. <laughs> Come back anytime. Oh, he will. Because he's got to exactly. bring you more cinnamon buns. See, he knows that the next time he brings looked, him a cinnamon bun... It looks so non-intrusive. It was know. very non-intrusive, but he was gaining intel right there. Oh, yeah. Always is. He had, the dude eats his cinnamon bun with his back to the cameras, right? And now he's going to time and see probably how long it takes old boy to do his rounds. Yep, this is going to be a habit now. Okay. Routine. On, on, on point. Same time. What were you thinking of that time? Well, uh, I bring you cinnamon, hey. cinnamon buns. You give me coffee. Is, uh... Conversation. He doesn't know anything about it, but he's going to have some. He something. doesn't know anything, yeah. I mean, mostly he just has to listen. I love this. Jean, Jean, the Stephon machine. <laughs> the machine. Is he? He's just trying to give him a heart attack. The poor man, <laughs> bringing him cinnamon buns. Let's bring people food, man. That's all they want. Mm -hmm. This guy is very predictable. Is he? Is he gonna try and steal one? That's why. Can I help you, oh yeah. <laughs> Price is too hefty for you. Dude, you so? got money stacked. So you just can't. He can't spend it though, probably. Probably. Yeah. He's definitely planning and plotting something here. With how many steps it takes to get from everywhere in the mall? <laughs> what no, is, I think he's gonna. Is he planning to rob the mall? Like, what is be. happening? All right, and seventeenth seat, right here. And now he's making a an exact replica of the interior of the mall. Living it off. Wow. Go, 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 go! One, Armani suits and run! Two, Air Jordan shoes for you! They're planning a robbery. Four, have your out the door! Six, swaggy sweat suits in the neck! Oh. He's already really Two tired. Eight. Pigs get fat, hogs get slaughtered. I don't know. Do you really want to be doing this, Jeffy? Oh, don't you know? Fifty-year-old high school chemistry teacher comes into my office. The guy is so broke he can't pay his own mortgage. One year later, he's got a pile of cash as big as a Volkswagen. That's crazy. I'll do it. This sounds good to you. 
You're probably uh, fast to the feet, huh? Okay, I didn't say I wouldn't do it. I just had some <laughs> questions about like, are you in or out? Peer pressure, Jeffy. In. Oh, oh, Is he trying oh, to recreate oh, Walt oh, here? Oh. Him? No, not not Kim. No, I, every time I, I every time I yeah, I always think of her. So. No, no, stop. You are not leaving that thing on my loading dock. No way. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think they are. And you talk to your supervisor. Got it. You stay right here. <laughs> well, okay. And you know Jimmy's gonna answer. Because he's the supervisor, of course. Or of course. Oh my God! I'm so sorry, ma'am. My boss is gonna just oh, race Ricky Book Salad. <laughs> Ricky? He's a driver. Well, Ricky's just going to have to put the box back on the truck. Yeah, oh, I'm just uh, putting out fires. It's a delivery issue. Don't worry. Okay. I got it. Sorry. Just make it work, you know. No, I can't wait around that long. We're closing for the night here. Oh, I guess you're going to have to have that box in your uh, lo loading bay. Uh, <laughs> and that's how it's done. <laughs> wow, Jimmy. Are the are the is the dude in there in the box? It looks like two boxes. Or is it, it one it big box? It looks like one big box. And it's strapped, so if there's someone in that box, good luck. Yeah, how are they gonna get out of there? Well, I'm sure Jimmy will let them out, right? Something's up. Good night, ladies. Good night. Good night, Jean. Good night, Jean. 484 yards. That's a freshman record. You know what? I love that kid. If he had Kenny keep it up. He's gotten pretty shot. well versed in whatever Ooh, this sport is that they're talking about. Wow. He should have made an extra big one. I thought he wasn't going to be able okay. to get out. There, so there's like a sliding... On the inside. What? Armani suits in two. Air Jordan shoes. An Air Jordan shoes for you. You see that interview with Bellini? It's all going on behind him. You can taste it now. How about that 44 to 20? Make sure there's always two on the shelf, right? Let's watch the whole thing go down. He's still got a minute and a half left. They practiced us, so... They did, uh, yeah. <laughs> yep, and they polished that spot on the floor, remember? Did he knock himself out? Oh, my God. Don't be staring at... Oh, last bite, last bite. Can you distract him for a minute, maybe, somehow? <laughs> what? Oh, look at me. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, he's oh, panicking. I have a wife, right? Yeah. She's waiting for you. Look at me. Look at me. I got, I got no one. My parents are dead. My brother is dead. Your brother is dead. Yes. He is. Yeah. Existential crisis to your new friend. Hey, buddy, I'm sure that you mean a lot to me. Finally. Cinnabon would just hire a new manager. I'd be gone. I'd be. It's not what we want to talk about. Run, run, run. A ghost. Less than a ghost to be a shell. It's just be. Almost. What is he doing? <laughs> oh my God, Jimmy. This is your worst, I'm telling you right now. You'll never get to deliver Cinnabon again. Oh my God. Oh, that's okay. That is okay. That was horrible, Everybody Jimmy. I mean, it you worked, know? technically. Hey, you're not going to tell me. Oh. No, of course not. Well, yes, of course he thank is. Thank you so much for listening. Wow. 
while, Jimmy. Opening up the store. He hid in the bathroom all night in the stall. Look at him acting. Dude, you are acting so sus right now. Do you need help? Oh my god. I'm good. You could just walk out, dude, right? You could. He likes to revel in things, I think. You overheard that uh, they're picking up the box and the flowers are there. Getting that adrenaline rush there, yep. Jeffy? Yes, he did. You can see it. Yeah. You guys enjoying yourselves? Well, hold on to that feeling because this is it. Yeah, we know. Well, in case you forget, transportation of stolen goods another 10 years, sale of stolen goods 10 years, conspiracy to commit a federal crime. Whoa, conspiracy? It was your idea. It's called mutually assured destruction. So, yeah. I go down. You, you go down, down with me. I am not your friend. And if you get greedy and you decide to come back for more, don't. Gene Takovic, you never heard of him. The Cottonwood Mall, you don't go there. You see me coming, you cross to the other side of the street. Now I need you to say it. We're done. Come on. Say it. We're done. Say it. Because once you get away with it, you don't want to do he's it. He's going to want, yeah, he knows want that more. he got that adrenaline rush. He's going to He's going to do it again. You're done. Oh, Mom. Hey. Well, that's a start. Looks like we're probably at the master cylinder. Look at you boys hard at work. Well, here it is. Jeff, you don't vex me. Come on, Jean, you can help me with the groceries. Huh, Jean? Sounds like a plan. Listen, Mom likes Jean, okay? You're a good influence, Jean. <laughs> is that so? That's a little brain. You and I could believe this, but uh, he was with a family. The whole time, just just a few blocks away. Oh, well, that's wonderful. Yeah, he's in great shape. So after all that, a happy ending. But is it though? What was he feeling? A little paranoid or something? It's hard to tell what he's thinking or doing right now, or what. <laughs> wow, that is uh. Interesting combination there, Jimmy. I think I'd pass. That's a lot. It's it's the old hymn, the flashy, the showman, right? I'm not sure what is happening. What the? I know that Jimmy is, you know, I don't know. He's... Mutually assured destruction. I know. If you, if I, I go down, you guys are gonna go down with me so that they can't rat him out for being Saul Goodman, right? Because he's trying to stay incognito. He doesn't mm -hmm. want anybody to know the real him or who he is, and they know. So get them in trouble right along with him. But then at the same time, like they're stupid. At least Jeffy, he seems pretty stupid. So he's gonna keep this up. He's gonna get caught. So, wouldn't that in turn kind of be worse for Jimmy? Whatever just happened was done for a very big reason. So, I, you know, what that is, it, it, it's kind of one of them episodes where it's, I feel like filling for what's about to happen or how he's going to use it. I'm not worried about it. I mean, the writing is, is always done real well for me in, in the show. So, I'm not, I'm not you know... I enjoyed the episode for what it was. It just was, what's it about now? You know, it looks like he's setting the stage up like he has been this whole time. Right. The big picture. But this is just far in the future. This is in, I don't know how far, but this is in the future, several years. And why? And why? I mean, we keep going back and forth. So I know this is all going to come together very soon, be, especially being that we only have three episodes left now. So I'm excited. I'm excited for these last three episodes. I mean, you got to have, you got to have a builder and you know, this one, I enjoyed it because of, I, I just enjoyed it. I, I, I really did enjoy it, but it's kind of a weird enjoyment because it I was, didn't get anything out of it. it like other than It was a strange episode in you know, the, basically them just planning out this robbery. That's all the episode was, was 
But it was for a bigger picture. Plan. But it was for a bigger purpose. So yeah. What happened in that garage when he was? They were taking it out and getting all excited. He was very. He's like, I don't. Ten like, years here, ten years there. You know, mutually assured destruction. I get it. But how is he going to use them? He's. To I make think. That, I feel like he's plan. just trying to keep them quiet right now. He could have kept them quiet by not doing it at all. That's what I'm saying. So there's something there's more. A, yeah. But yeah, I don't know. We'll find anyway, out. We'll yeah. find out. Yeah. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching uh, Better Call Saul with us. Please leave a like on this video. Leave your comments and questions down below. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. And we hope you guys all have an amazing and awesome day. Hope amazing happens to you. Peace out.